Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. This week we are so, so excited to show you guys one of two of the first Nerdle Trommels in Cornwall. And we are lucky to have these all thanks to Pat from Final Straw and Basimba Farm Cottages and Ruth from ZLC Energy. These guys have sponsored these two Nerdle Trommels and we have one of them here with us today on Watergate Bay Beach and we're going to try and remove some of the Nerdles here. So let's go have a look and see how many we can remove. five millimeters and the seaweed are still trapped in the trommel so what we've now done is laid that out on a tarp and we can pick out the plastics and put the seaweed back on the beach to leave it as the natural habitat for the invertebrates that live here and just in case if you didn't know what a nurdle was this is what it is so it's these tiny little pellets of plastic and as you've already seen there's loads of them So microplastics by definition are less than five millimetres and these nurdles fit that description. So nurdles are microplastics and they are pre-production pellets, the virgin plastics before they're turned into anything. And there are another type of nurdles called bio beads and these are used in wastewater treatment plants to absorb the toxins from the water. So these are literally little toxic bombs on our beach and they look exactly like fish eggs so the seabirds unfortunately are confusing them for the fish eggs and eating them and getting those toxic chemicals inside them so that's why this is so so important to remove them from the beaches Hiya I'm Pat Smith I own the Silver Holiday Cottages and I also run the Final Straw Cornwall campaign I'm absolutely so inspired by the work that Emily and Rob are doing as Beach Guardian on the North Coast and I really wanted to support them with this fantastic trommel machine because as you've seen, nurdles are really difficult to pick up on the beach and this is going to make such a difference to picking up the small microplastics and hopefully raise awareness as we've done today number of people who've come up and asked us what we're doing and they're going to go oh that's amazing can we do it and hopefully to inspire children next generation to protect this beautiful environment that we're so lucky to live by we've had a really big nurdle problem on the north coast beaches of cornwall for at least eight years um, probably longer just i remember noticing it eight years ago um, so that's a lot of plastics going into our food chain, going into the water, just being in the sea, you know, and it contaminates everything. So hopefully um, this is going to be a really exciting thing to use as the sun comes out again next year and the sand's dry. It's going to be really exciting to see what we can clear off our beaches in Cornwall. 
So if any of you watched one of my previous videos where I actually came back to Watergate Bay Beach and had a look at the Nerdle problem, you would have seen that it took me four hours to collect a bag of Nerdles. And it, it was so extreme and took so long. And now to have this Nerdle trommel, have a look at how many we've collected in just half an hour. So as you can probably see, that this is going to completely change the way that we do beach cleans. Um, to be able to move all of these microplastics so much faster is going to be such a game changer for us. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing how it's all worked out. We will have our Nerdle Trommels on our beach cleans over Christmas and for our beach cleans forever now. Every beach clean we do, the Nerdle Trommels will be there. So if you want to have a go yourself, get down on one of our beach cleans and come and have a go. Thank you so much for watching this week's Tune In Tuesday. And if you didn't see my video from the other week showing you the extent of the Nerdle problem and how I did it without the Nerdle Trommel, I'll put the link in the description so you can compare just how much easier this way is. So yeah, thank you again for watching and see you next week for next week's Tune In Tuesday.